I do want to talk about the sort of like the the thing that everybody is actually discussing the most, which is not the quality of the show, but like the politically correct sort of like or the woke aspect of it. Yeah. And f- I'd like to first say like what I actually think of it in an artistic context in the show, in Tolkien adaptation, and then talk about how this like is affecting the conversation about the show. So first of all, I don't have a problem with putting, you know, obviously like non-white uh, actors in a Tolkien adaptation. You can argue for the merits, the sort of like the, the aesthetic, the, the sort of cultural aesthetic that Tolkien has created if you want to. But, you know, at the end of the day, it's true. We th- this is a show. There are a lot of people who like Tolkien's world that are from different ethnic backgrounds and stuff. And there's no reason that you couldn't explore different sort of ethnic contexts within Middle Earth. The problem is that they're not really doing that. Like there's a difference between creating a sort of like creating a, a, a because there's different like elf bloodlines. There diff- there's different like sort of like maybe tribes is not the right word, but sort of like lineages and different cultures within the elves. You could have a group of elves who is darker skinned. You could certainly have a group of dwarves a group of uh, hobbits or halfling type folk who are darker skinned, certainly men. We know that they're there in Middle Earth. Um, But then you could also do what is done in the show to a large extent, which is to just sort of throw them in haphazardly, much as we discussed in The Mandalorian, where there's this like village on Tatooine and somehow everybody's of a different ethnicity. Um, It's like as diverse as New York City. You know, exactly. And these, so you get these human villages where like, These are these are like villages that have been like very insular for hundreds of years is the impression that we get. And yet they're so diverse, which some people have pointed out, like almost creates the impression that there is lots of racism in those villages because like none of those people are interbreeding, you know, over many hundreds of years. Um, So you get this like, yeah, it's like acting like every place would be as cosmopolitan as like New York City or London. You know, um, and that it's just not respecting you know, one of the really distinctive marks of, of Tolkien is his concern for the sort of like the like, first of all, like bloodline his lineage is like a very important part of his stories. Um, and then uh, there's also like the fact that he is very careful about like internal consistency of the world that he creates and the cultures that he creates. So it's not really respecting that to just sort of throw people in haphazardly rather than making it make sense within the context of the world, within the context of the story. I have no problem with like inventing things and I have no problem with creating a story, which may, they may be doing this to some extent with the Southlanders. Like, like we know that there's darker skinned people like the Easterlings, the Haradrim and people like that. You could come up with, you know, characters like, from those cultures who are who are good or are interesting and sympathetic and do different things with them. You could even uh, change the way that those cultures are so that like it doesn't have this sort of like English centered uh, like viewpoint seeing like these as like the, the threatening outsiders or whatever. You could do a lot of different things with it. But what you shouldn't do is like the same lazy, like tokenistic diverse casting that we see in so many other things, yeah. um, especially in very particularly, especially in Tolkien, where like this, this sort of like internal consistency of the world building is so important where it might not be in Star Wars, you know, right. Um, or or it, or it might not even be as much in a sort of like just like a, a, a show set in the present day in our world. Um, but uh yeah, so that's that's my that's my view of like sort of as it pertains to adapting Tolkien. If it's being done in an arbitrary way, which is what you're basically saying, Thomas, like, and and I agree that like, um, you know, because we have this other material that it's adapting, like, you know, there are certain like rules. There's an appropriate way of kind of like respecting like the rules that have been laid down. So to do things in an arbitrary fashion, like across any level of the making of something, like to me, this is just this speaks to that. It's like. This is just being done as an arbitrary thing. It's an imposition kind of on the work. It's not coming naturally out of the work. There would be a way to do it naturally within yeah. the work, which is what you were saying, Thomas, like according to kind of like how Tolkien has set up that world. But, you know, we're not um, as a culture like, you know, that's 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 not how we, we fly. Right. Political limitations, you know, uh, external restrictions that are placed on a project 
don't necessarily need to mean the uh the 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 you know the emptying or the diminishment of that work but i think that like when we're talking about this issue of race and of diversity like there is something huh, there's like another layer of concern which is like what this is expressing i think that this kind of tokenistic casting this like arbitrary like sprinkling of diversity is actually like at odds with what what we actually like the the, the deeper impulse that would even lead to this kind of casting to begin with which is like the idea that like race is important or like where we come from is important or like, yeah, I see what you're saying. You know, I, I don't because know. Because it's I, because it's because it's like for the sake of that value in this world, it's actually like attacking that value in the world of the story. Like it's actually undermining the idea of like diversity in the world of the yes, story as yeah. like a coherent thing. But also, but also in our world, like whenever diversity casting is handled in this way, I think that it can't help but like like reduce the reality of race. I mean, this is like a cultural sociological reality. You know, I'm not trying to like sound racist here, but like it's true that like there are different races. And that like carries a certain weight. There's like something to that. So that like someone can be like genuinely upset when, you know, whatever her name was, who like pretended to be a black person and like was found out. Uh, and, and Rachel and, Dolezal. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. that, that, that there's like a genuine outrage there. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, um, but like when when it's sort of treated as though it's like something interchangeable that can just be like mm -hmm. sprinkled, like literally sprinkled, like as though it were just like a coating of paint to just be like thrown onto this character and splashed onto that character and boom, mm -hmm. bam, bing. Yeah. Like that 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 seems to suggest a kind of uh you know um trivialness mm. to it all and like i don't want to say that race is more important than it is right because in reality like in, in the things that like matter like essential things it's not important at all it's as important as uh you know anything else that's sort of like an accidental characteristic to like our mm. humanity but like when we're talking about characterization you know it's important yeah. when we're talking when, when, when characterization like is really just a, a, uh, you know, amalgam of a lot of inessential elements, a lot of accidental qualities go up to make me who I am in my individuality, right? I am a lot of less than essential Mm -hmm. elements yeah. you know and but but their being like less than essential doesn't mean doesn't make them like less important do you know what i'm trying to get at here like i am the son of my father like that's a that's an accidental relationship but it's like it's central mm -hmm. to who i am and i think that like a lot of people when talking about race or talking about ethnicity they would probably talk about it along those lines like this doesn't fundamentally make me any different than you but this is very important to who I am. And I don't see that being the way that this question, this, this, this aspect of humanity is treated in media, especially the ones that are the most concerned about diversity, right. it, you know, yeah. um, or at least are telegraphing that concern. And so here we come to that word again, like it sort of shows us something. It, it gestures at something that I don't think it's actually accomplishing because if it did, right, want to really find a place for these sort of different like racial expressions in the world of Tolkien, that would be a project. That would mean some work. That would mean some creativity. That would mean some genuine inspiration. Right. But what has been done instead is like a gesture 
a a a signal and and like for that reason it can't help but sort of hack at the integrity of the the whole mm. i think i'm i'm, yeah, I'm well curious said. about um i just wanted to look at this quickly and particularly with looking at your take on this as an actor james like the poetic like poet poetic just purely in the and the question of like making and like or, or like using basically treating you know different races as like as a poetic tool uh akin to like i'm wondering if we compare this to like th the staging of a shakespeare play where you know it's completely normal to have like a multiracial shakespeare cast now right and I would, I would say that that one reason that's very, you know, that's just totally normal to us is because Shakespeare has moved, you know, one, it's not, it's, it's, it's theater. So it's in a more purely, um, artificial realm than, than film, yeah. which still has this relationship to reality, right. to realism, uh, which has, suggests all sorts of kind of relationships and networks and things, but theater is this abstracted space where it's purely about the art. And so the only thing that really matters is like, you know, so you, you have this total freedom to kind of cast each part with whatever actor yeah. you think is appropriate for that, for this version. And then the joy is seeing them take the link, take Shakespeare and run with it. Would it not be fair to say that that's kind of what's happening to Tolkien in this case? Like, uh, you know? yeah, yeah. I think that's like, that's an interesting, that's an interesting point because you know, maybe it is really the difference in how artifice is experienced in a play versus a show like uh, Rings of Power. Because because it's not just all television shows or all film, right? They're, like we've, we've talked about films together on this show that are more, um, you know, like upfront with their artifice. St. Therese, mm -hmm. uh, the, the yeah. Trez film comes to mind, you know? Um, I think that that can be like a choice and that maybe if that choice were made that that then like such a casting uh uh rubric would be less offensive and and I don't mean offensive in the sense of like uh like 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 I mean it in in the sense that like sort of uh like sticking yeah, like it's out. Not, it's not appropriate you know? to like the work you're trying to make. Like it's yeah. not intrinsically called for. So, so I, and I just don't think that this is, this show is that, mm. you know? Yeah. So I think that like, as a matter of principle, like, sure. I think that probably if, if that, if that, that artifice is clear, then that can, that like, uh, that convention is a lot easier to buy into. This is not important. Like what's important is something else. But when that move is made in this show, as in others, yeah. um, what's odd is that it's a move that's being made precisely because we're saying this is important. Yeah. You know, and by this, I mean race. If I did have the sense watching this, that like these casting choices were made like purely because of like what each of these characters brought to each of these actors brought to the role. And like, these were the best people mm -hmm. for the gig. Like, I don't know, maybe I'd feel differently, but like, that's not the sense I get from this show. It's not the sense I get from these performances. It's a huge disservice to those moments when it, when it is done yeah. with, with a view toward the integrity of the work, right? When, when a, when a, actor is cast because they were the best because mm. those things do happen you can enjoy like the quirky weirdness of it yeah like it's all the more satisfying and exciting but but when it's done in this kind of like yeah algorithmic way in this like very superficial way uh you know not thought out and and in a way that like simultaneously tells me that like this is supposed to be significant but also not um right yeah it's frustrating and i think that any time like any time like a decision is made without consideration to the integrity of the work then like 
It's only going to succeed yeah. by accident. And people should not play dumb, and, and they should understand that the reason a lot of people get so annoyed by this is the way that like it's done in such a like it's arbitrary yeah manner it's in arbitrary. such a press yeah. in such a press yeah. and, and i and i don't even mean in the show itself i mean like in the discussion about it like in such a press release know. or trumpeting our diversity way and you're supposed to like it because of this that in itself really yeah. annoys people yeah yeah because people I, don't like being propagandized in that way right and so they're going to react all the more violently and sometimes uncharitably sure yeah. uh but but there is a reason that that gets on people's nerves and it's not just because they can't stand the sight of a you know a black person on the television screen right you know?